Compressor protesters gathered downtown today to make sure they were heard, not only with their voices, but with their numbers. News Channel 5's John Quill Newland is outside the Tennessee Tower, where a public hearing was held this afternoon. John Quill, do officials, do they think officials heard what they had to say? Rory, for the most part, yes. Now, some of these protesters have been working on this issue for upwards of 19 months. And while they feel that Metro officials have heard them, now they want to work on the state. These are concerned citizens for safe energy. They came by the busloads. Dozens of Jolton and Cane Ridge residents who have made it their mission to fight the proposed gas compressors in their communities. People will have breathing difficulties. This compressor area will butt right up next to that park that those kids are going to be playing in. Recently, Metro passed an air quality zoning ordinance which makes it unlawful to build or erect any structure that will increase the amount of pollution without a construction permit that would directly impact the areas where gas companies are looking to build. Everything has to tie back into not just a SIP, but what is it that's supposed to be in the SIP? And how does zoning, which is something that's going to exist without the Clean Air Act, that existed before the Clean Air Act, how does zoning relate to the process. How does this support the process and relate to the process for protecting air quality? It's now up to the state's air board on whether to include that ordinance in the state implementation plan. We're here today, the city of Nashville is here today, having done its job, asking the state to do it. That is what this public hearing was all about. Consider what you're doing here. But TDEC officials got an earful about the compressors nonetheless. When I walked over here from the Metro Courthouse today, I went through War Memorial Plaza and I saw the, the statue, the wonderful statue, and it says dedicated to the sons of Tennessee who gave their lives. And I think today they'd be rolling over to think that they gave their lives so big business could come in here and trample the will of people and trample families. In written statements, the gas companies oppose the idea of the state including the Metro Ordinance saying that it is illegal for local governments to regulate natural gas facilities through zoning. Now, all of the comments made today at the public hearing will be given to the Air Board to review, and the Air Board will have the final say in what happens. Of course, stay with News Channel 5 as the story develops. In downtown, I'm John Paul Newland, News Channel 5. Thanks, John Paul.